Is your database missing indexes? Does it have too many indexes? Are there indexing problems that you didn't even know to look for? That's why we wrote SP Blitz Index. It's free. It's part of our open source first responder kit. Works in Microsoft SQL Server, Azure SQL DB, Amazon RDS. And when you run it, it gives you a design review against whatever database you're in. In this example, I'm in the Stack Overflow database. But if you want to run it across all of your databases, there's a get all databases equals one parameter too as well. And it gives you a prioritized list. You see the priority over on the left hand side it gives you a prioritized list of things that you may want to take attention to or pay attention to. In my example here, I've got a database that's a little bit under indexed where um, SP Blitz index is recommending that I consider indexes on a few of my tables. Now, there's a lot of details inside here, some of which require analysis from a trained professional like yourself. If you haven't been to index training before, check out my Fundamentals of Index Tuning class and my Mastering Index Tuning classes. Because, for example, just because SQL Server gives us a create T-SQL command doesn't mean you should create that index. Those index columns aren't necessarily in order. They're probably in the wrong order. One of the things that I love about SQL Server 2019 and newer in Azure SQL DB is it also gives you a sample query plan from the kinds of queries that we're asking for this index. So I can click on that and it'll show me, hey, here's the exact query along with the index recommendation as well. Now that top set of examples on mine is just missing indexes, but you probably have all kinds of other problems. SP Blitz in, <laughs> you, you personally, SP Blitz index checks for foreign keys, all kinds of check constraints, tons of things. And I'm only doing a short demo here to give you a rough idea, but one of my favorite things is problems you wouldn't even think to look for. I've got an identity column that's running out of numbers. This ID on this table here is in danger of running out of numbers. And then when I do, I'm going to have to go really make a quick table change, which isn't going to be easy at production scale. For all of our warnings, we also give you a URL column. I jokingly like to say that this stands for you read loser. So if you don't understand what a particular warning means, you can go copy that into your browser. Like if you're running out of identity columns, how you go learn more. Now that's what the defaults give you uh, with no parameters. And honestly, that's one of my favorite ways to run it. But it's much more powerful than that as well. In my How I Use the First Responder class, I give you uh, example ways to run it with different parameters. For example, Mode 2 will give you an inventory of all of your existing objects, all your indexes, tables, etc. And you can sort those. If I say sort order equals uh, size, I can go find my largest objects inside the database. Oh, this is so useful when I'm trying to get to know a database for the first time. Here I can see what the largest objects are inside that database. And I can start asking questions like, why do we have a sales table backed up from the year 2014 with 100 gigs worth of data in it? That's SP Blitz Index. I teach you how to use it in my How I Use the First Responder Kit class, in my Fundamentals of Mastering and uh, in Fundamentals of Mastering, ha, Fundamentals of Index Tuning and Mastering Index Tuning classes. And if you haven't got time for the pain, go click on Consulting at the top of Brenozar.com, and I can help you get to the best indexes possible for your workloads as quickly as possible.